The Rookie is being called the fall's biggest series, and tomorrow night, it comes to CTV. It follows the journey of a man who pursues his dream of joining the LAPD in the midst of a midlife awakening. The Rookie promises drama, humor, inspiration, and everything in between. I had a chance to sit down with some of the cast ahead of tomorrow night's premiere. And there's my first present. Morning, Boot. Good morning, sir. Did I say you could talk? You better pray I'm not your training officer, Boot, because I'll make your life a living hell. So you guys are from The Rookie, you all play cops, and you had to train with the LAPD. And I want to know, is that as intense as I think it would be? It was pretty fun. I mean, it was, it was intense in the sense that we had to really get it right, which we, we learned LAPD has a very specific way of doing things very to the point that even drawing a weapon is different for an LAPD officer versus an NYPD officer. It's like a one, one hand, two, two, take off the guard, take off the guard like three, three a low. Yeah. Four, you'd or go NYPD up. Five is just. Pulled. It's more like cowboy. So why do you want to be a cop? Is this a trick question? You want me to train you? I need to know why you're in this car. Let's talk about how to get into shape. I imagine that the physical shape is just as intense. What's great about this, for my character, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a desk sergeant, so I'm in the office. <laughs> I can go about it easily. They have to run. They have to do a lot of stuff, so I, they have to be more <laughs> physical shape. I had to put on weight for the show, so for me, it was just eat. <laughs> that was not it for me. Um, uh, yeah, so this actually, the pilot actually came up uh, on me really quickly, and I wasn't in like what I would describe as fighting shape, and my character had to like fight and like sprint down a street. I had to sprint while I was wearing full combat boots and like gear, lots of interval sprinting and running with weighted vests. She's an actual like rookie, so yeah. she had to do a lot yeah. of the work. I had to do a lot of the work. Okay, so you're the rookie, you're one of the rookies. One of them, yeah. um, and you're working with Nathan Fillion, who's the other rookie, but he he is really anything but a rookie off camera. What was that like for you working with him? Oh my gosh, it's amazing working with Nathan. He is kind, generous, inclusive of everybody and their opinions and their thoughts on a scene and how to play that as well, which is exciting. Can I help you? Officer John Nolan reporting for duty. Did you get punked off Mr. Nolan? No, ma'am. So I've heard a story, and maybe one of you can confirm it for me, uh -oh. that this show is based on a true event. Oh, yeah. okay. Nathan's character. The LAPD is one of the rare police departments that actually doesn't have an age cutoff. So there was a real guy who had a midlife crisis, tried to figure out what to do with himself, and decided to join the LAPD. And he was a consultant with our writer and creator, and that's who Nathan is mirroring his role after. You see, the LAPD is in the place for you to find yourself. And I believe if you succeed, my house will be flooded with middle-aged losers looking for some kind of eat, pray, love path to reinvention. And that will get my people killed. Richard, your character is the sergeant. What is it like getting to be the boss? What's your favorite part? You know, I think of myself as a protective father. Since I am a father of four, it's actually a character that I get into very easily. It's just one of those things where I look at all of the officers as my children, and I want them to be protected. So who is your favorite kid? Well, Nathan, because he cuts my checks. <laughs> <laughs> Without Nathan, there's no show. So he's my favorite kid. You guys, thank you so much. Congratulations thank you. on the thank show. You. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Oh, they're so funny. Hey, you can catch the season premiere of The Rookie tomorrow at 10 p.m. on CTV.